So over the course of this channel, I reviewed all different kinds of peripherals, and of course, I've picked some of my favorites, and those include the MX Master 3 and the Magic Trackpad, two devices that are as intuitive as they are amazing, and I really like them, but it does raise an important question. Should you buy the Magic Trackpad or the MX Master 3 in 2021? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and help you guys answer this question. And I'm gonna do so by going to the specs of each device, talking about my thoughts in regard to how I feel about them, and ultimately telling you guys which I recommend buying. And starting with the MX Master 3, it has a lot going for it, including a scroll wheel on the side, a forward and backward button next to the scroll wheel, a button that will allow you to make the main wheel go forever, and both of the scroll wheels on this device are made from metal, something I personally really like as I really enjoy a truly high quality product. Moreover, it also has a gesture button on the side, which is really nice for Mac. Personally, I kind of like it more than the solutions that Apple offers with the three finger swipe. And with the intuitive app that Logitech offers, you have the ability to pretty much customize any and every single thing on this device, which is very nice for a content creator like myself, as I can have certain buttons have certain shortcuts whenever I'm trying to edit a video, for example. Moreover, it also has pretty solid feeling construction, and it can switch between three computers with ease by pressing a button on the bottom, which has been really nice for me as I use my MacBook Pro 16 quite a bit and my Mac Mini back here quite a bit with the Logitech MX Master 3, so this is very useful. Moreover, you can also connect it to two different computers at once, so the mouse will actually go between my MacBook, for example, and my Mac Mini, but I haven't actually been able to make use of this as I don't really have a reason to use both computers at once, but it is nice knowing that I have this ability. Moreover, it also has USB-C charging in a competent place, which is really nice for any mouse cough cough the magic mouse and you can also get 70 days of battery life on one full charge something i can vouch for as i use this mouse all the time and i charge it once every two months which is very nice for not having to have another thing to remember and it charges extremely fast you can get three hours of battery life off of just one minute of charging and charging it overnight will give it a full 70 day charge and the mouse comes in at 100 US dollars, one heck of a deal. Onto the Magic Trackpad specs, it also has quite a bit going for it. You can get it in two different colors, space gray or white, and it's made from high quality materials, making it kind of heavy in the hand. The sides are made from aluminum, the top is made from glass, and the bottom is made from plastic. It almost feels too heavy for it to be made from the materials that it's made from, so I would imagine that Apple probably put some weights on the inside to add to its heaviness, which when it comes to a trackpad is something that is nice as it won't slide around when you're swiping your hand across the top. Moreover, it charges with a lightning port that is on the back in a competent place. You don't have to flip it over to try and charge it. Two minutes will give you over nine hours of use and a full battery will last for around a month before you need to go ahead and recharge it. And it pretty much has all of the same exact functions as the built-in trackpad on any and all MacBooks. So if you've ever used a MacBook, you are well aware of just how it works and it's very intuitive and extremely nice to use on Mac OS. And it comes in as low as 119 US dollars on Amazon, but it can be around 130 if you buy it from Apple. On to my thoughts in regard to the devices. The MX Master 3 definitely has some things going for it over the Magic Trackpad, and this includes USB-C charging rather than lightning. USB-C is just so much more universal, and it has a better battery life, and in my opinion, a better value as it's $20 cheaper than the cheapest price you can get the Magic Trackpad for. And it also has, in my opinion, better functionality as it can do every single thing the Magic Trackpad can do and more like scrubbing through a timeline with the wheel on the side or the back and forward buttons that are built in, which you can do with the Magic Trackpad, but it's just a little more clunky when you try to do it and it can glitch out or it has glitched out in my experience. Whereas if you're just clicking a button, it will pretty much always do that one function you're trying to do. Whereas when you're using your fingers in different gestures, it can get kind of iffy at certain points. And the MX Master 3 also has better ergonomics. I edit videos for anywhere from two to four hours at a time. So in that time, my hand can 
definitely get a lot of strain on it. And when I'm working with the MX Master 3, it just feels much better after that period of time. Whereas when I do it on a trackpad, I definitely will get some cramps and it can be kind of unpleasant. But that is not to say that the MX Master 3 is the perfect mouse as the Magic Trackpad does have a lot going for it. Foremost, in my opinion, I think it just looks better, especially paired with different Apple products as they all were kind of made to work together. So if you look at the Magic Keyboard next to the Magic Trackpad, I think it looks absolutely amazing on a desk, especially my desk. And I like it more than the appearance of the MX Master 3. Moreover, the Magic Trackpad also has much better build quality than the MX Master 3 as it just feels more sturdy in the hand and is made from, in my opinion, better materials. But what's really important is the Magic Trackpad has better reliability than the MX Master 3 as the MX Master 3 can sometimes stop working in certain ways. Like that gesture button I mentioned will just stop working. The side scroll wheel will stop working if I'm editing a video or even the main scroll wheel, if I'm just trying to scroll through an article to read it, will sometimes it stop working, which I really don't like as whenever I'm focused on a task, I really try to avoid any and all interruptions. So reliability is extremely important to me. And that's something the Magic Trackpad provides as it has never failed me. There's only been like one time where it wouldn't connect to my MacBook. And that was because I restarted the MacBook and for some reason it didn't want to connect. And the solution was simply plugging it in and I never had the problem again. Whereas the MX Master 3 will glitch out at least once every two to three days and I have to turn it off and turn it back on, which is a really quick and easy solution. Don't get me wrong. And this can probably be fixed over software but it's still an issue regardless and that is something that gives the magic trackpad a point over the MX Master 3. So in conclusion, if the MX Master 3 had better reliability, I personally would say it's a hands down better investment as it has a better value, better functionality and ergonomics over the magic trackpad. But it doesn't have better reliability. So I would say that they are very close in which one you can buy as there's really only a $20 difference in price. But at the end of the day, especially if you're a content creator, I would absolutely recommend investing in the MX Master 3. And even if you're not, I would still recommend the MX Master 3 over the Magic Trackpad in 2021. Thank you so much for watching and please do consider subscribing as only 2% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. And as a small content creator like myself, any and all support really does help.